Hey guys, it's the Ultimate Filmer here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at PowerDirector 365. So one of the main differences with PowerDirector 365 is that you get free updates forever. Usually when you have PowerDirector Ultra or Ultimate, you have to pay to get the next version. But this way you always have the latest update and all of the new latest features. However, what I like most about this software is that you have basically unlimited access to all the plugins and effects that can be used with PowerDirector. So for example, if I go into effects here, I'll show you just some of the uh, effects that we can use. Here's a cool glow looking one and you can turn up the intensity. And over here there is some um, film damage. No, we don't want that one. But here's a useful one which is film grain and we can just click on the effect and click film grain. And if we go to heavy grain mono tint, now we can get this sort of like subtle film grain on our footage. Okay, so here are also some other filters that you can use. So once this one is applied, you just click effect, click it, and then you see it opens up a whole new window and you can change all these effects down here and stuff. So in Vidascene, there's all these uh, blur effects, different types of blurs, and you can also do color adjustment. You can flip it upside down and stuff like that. And you can change the scale and rotation. And another new feature that they've added to PowerDirector 365 is if you go into view and library preview mode you can see that if you click on a video before importing it into the timeline you can change where you want the in and out points and you can just insert it into the timeline and then you have only this part of the video in the timeline and not the whole thing to deal with also, when you buy or get a subscription for PowerDirector 365, you get free and unlimited access to all of these sound clips. So first of all, you get background music, a huge library, and I don't even think this is all of it because I haven't had the time to download all of it. From multiple categories and durations and different styles of music. And also useful in sound design is the sound clips that you get with it too. So you get all of these, and more of course, because I haven't downloaded all of them. This one is my favorite. That's a good one. That's quite useful for uh, horror wind, I guess. And something else to mention is that these sounds and music are always being added to and it's a growing library that is quite expansive so I don't think you can really run out of them. So another thing I wanted to mention because I thought it was quite interesting is the new blue title pro 1.5 which you can just uh, bring it into your timeline and double click on it and you get this whole new window um, and of course this is different than PowerDirector but it is pretty easy to figure out and it can be quite powerful, especially for when you're working with 3D text. And it has a whole new library of templates. All right, a quick thing to show also is uh, snap alignment, which will help you align things in your frame. Boom, it automatically knows exactly that it, that's a quarter of our frame there. And if you move it around, you can make sure it snaps to the center on one of these these lines in the middle or however you want and when there are other clips around you can have them snap to the other ones like right beside them now I know that if I make this smaller and put it right in the middle of this one well then it's right in the middle of it I can put it in the corner of it I can have this picture be exactly a quarter of that picture okay so another thing you get is 50 gigabytes of Cyberlink Cloud, which you can basically put anything on, like videos, music, templates, and projects. And an easy way to put your projects on is just to go into PowerDirector and go into Settings and Cyberlink Cloud. Now you can back up to Cyberlink Cloud, you can restore from Cyberlink Cloud, and you can choose the download folder. 
There we go, I've chosen something and I put a song. So now I've put a song on my cloud and there it is. So this is a good place if you want to actually back up files and stuff too. And a few more things from ProDad would be the uh, Adorage transition and the Vidascene transition. So let's uh, take the Vidascene one and add it to the beginning of our clip just to see what we can do. If we click modify and then click standalone effect. So here once again we're in another window and we have lots of different uh, new transitions to look at. And they're all in these nice categories. So if we go to uh, blur dissolves maybe, let's do a twisting and stretching blur. Here is, uh, it's coming from black, all these will be coming from black because this is at the beginning of my clip. Let's uh, check out uh, ripples and here's corner swing reveal which is quite interesting. Looks like that. So, And there's all these other categories to mess around with too. And that's about it for this video. I might have to do another video exploring more in depth of those effects because there's just so much more you can do with them. But in terms of new features uh, for PowerDirector, I think the greatest part about this is having all of these new effects and sound clips and uh, things at, at your disposal that you can use whenever you want. But anyway, that's about the end of this video, so I'll see you all later. Bye!